I'm at Big Seminar right now in Las Vegas, and I have the privilege of being with Jay Conrad Levinson, who is the father of guerrilla marketing. And one of the books that he's written with guerrilla marketing is about trade shows. So the question for Jay is, what about in today's environment, in 2009, in the fall of 2009, as an exhibitor, why should I be using this tool, trade show marketing, to help with my sales? Jay, take I it think, away. I, I think there are two reasons, Joyce, to do that. Um, because trade shows provide these opportunities better than anything else that exists on this planet. Uh, and it's crucial for people in business to stay abreast of what's known was happening at the moment rather than what has been happening in the past year. For one thing, trade shows give you a better view as to what's happening in your industry than any other medium going on. You can ask questions to everybody, but if you walk around the trade show, you'll learn more than any other source of information that exists. And I love the internet, but trade, trade shows are even more up to the second than with the internet. Secondly, you get to meet the real good movers and shakers in your industry. They seem very willing to answer questions, and I think it's great that you get to learn things and meet people. In addition, I think if you go to a trade show, you've got to have a strategy ahead of time for what you hope to accomplish at the trade show. I've seen two people go to a trade show as exhibitors. One thought it was a marvelous experience, and the other one thought it was a horrible experience. And the reason is that one of them had a strategy, and his strategy enabled him to sell like $8 million worth of goods right there at the trade show while it was happening. The other one got to show his product or his service to many, many people but he didn't make any sales because that wasn't part of the strategy. He didn't have a place for sales to take place. His, the people who he brought to the trade show, which requires Herculean, very special people, who weren't trained in closing sales. And maybe that wasn't his interest, but after the trade show's over, it seemed to be his interest because he was in, in a state of depression because he didn't make sales. And he knew that people all around him were. And only if his strategy said, this is what I want to do, he would geared himself up to do that. So I think that one of the other great things about trade shows is the ability to close sales right then and there. I had a client who told me, I want you to go to the trade show I'm going to, a furniture trade show. He said, I want to go through with you because I want to show you how to go through a trade show. And he said, first of all, be the first one there. Don't wait for the doors to have been open an hour. Be the first one there so you can walk through and everybody is very fresh and just raring to go and find out who it is you want to spend time at, uh, whose booth you want to try and spend time at. And he walked through that trade show, and he walked pretty rapidly, but he made notes of where he wanted to go back to. So we got a good overview, which is hard to do when it's crowded because of the amount of human beings walking around. So he didn't have that problem. So he knew just what he wanted to do, who he wanted to visit, and then he went back afterwards and he signed orders with one place after another. Every place that he stopped, he signed orders. He gave, he gave deposits, whatever it took. Mm -hmm. He did that, and he said, okay, we're ready to leave. It's about noon. He says, we're ready to leave. He says, that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I accomplished. He said, I couldn't have done this if I hadn't been the first one on the floor. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done this if I didn't know exactly who I wanted to see and, send, uh, and, and buy their merchandise. He says, and because I was usually one of the first people to sign orders with them, they were able to give me good deals or exclusives, give me things that I couldn't have got if it was crowded. So I learned from that particular master how to, how to go to a trade show. I learned from others how to be an exhibitor to a trade show. You gotta start with a strategy, you gotta have the right people to help support you in your dreams, and you gotta realize that there's nothing you can really do to give you a real honest-to-goodness view as to what's happening right now in your industry. Nothing is better than the uh, trade shows to do that. I hope anybody who is hearing me speak will practice what I am preaching because if you're really taking your business seriously, uh, you can accomplish those things at a trade show. And if you're not taking everything in life seriously, you also could have a lot of fun at or after a trade show. It is a great place to have a lot of fun, but first you've got to do your business. Right, right. One thing I'm going to ask, and one more quick question. Yesterday when you were speaking, you talked about using a combination factor of marketing tools. And one of the things, those tools that the people that are listening to us should be looking at is the trade show. The trade show could be in combination with direct mail or 
What other guerrilla techniques? Or advertising or public relations. Yes, the days of single weapon marketing, of just going and having a booth at a trade show, or just advertising, or just doing PR, those days are relegated to the past. The only thing that works now and will work in the future are marketing combinations. And as you just heard Joyce say, marketing combinations means a combination of advertising and PR and a trade show of, of presence. And the internet, there's lots of things because people, when they, make a, when they make a determination to make a purchase, the first place they go is not really a trade show, but the first place they go is to the internet so they can learn as much as po about it uh, as possible at the University of Google or Yahoo or wherever it is that they go. Even the University of Bing is probably becoming one of the big places they go. But they go there first, then they go to your trade show. Then they read your PR with, with a much more experienced eye. And if you give them a marketing combination, you're advertising to them, from, or you're marketing to them on a 360 degree angle basis. And if you have 360 degree perspective, you're gonna do a whole lot better than those people who have a more narrow view. Yep, marketing combinations are the key to the vault these days. Good, thank you ever so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me go on and on and on and then say, Jay, you talk too much instead of saying that, saying thank you. <laughs> You're wonderful, thank you.